Welcome to Wika. Today we're going to cover a commercial receptacle outlet rough stage. This is an MC cable uh, installation. What we have is a power in and a power out. It, you don't really need to know which is which, just know that we have to tie these together. It's secured within 12 inches, as per code, uh, MC cable must be secured within 12 inches of the box. So we've already put in a ground lug, and uh, the box is bonded, grounded here. And what we're going to do is get our ground wires. We're going to pull those to the bottom of the box. Here, I'm going to twist them in. And we need to have one ground wire that's pigtailed out for the box. So we're going to grab this, just like that. We're going to have one of these wires to pigtail out. Here we go. And here we go. All right, now once you have uh, stripped the wires, we're going to use what's called a push-in connector. Uh, in the trades, they're known as a Wago. And all you have to do with this Wago is you basically have to push the wire in like this, and then push down that little tab and it'll lock it in place. So here we go, we're gonna put all these wires in. We have four of them, because you have to pigtail one out. Here we go, right inside here, all inside. And there, they're all tight in place, they're not coming apart. And then what we'll do is we'll just fold this into the back of the box, push it all the way to the back, out of the way. There we go. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the white neutral or grounded conductors depending on what circuit it is. All right, we're going to take these, we're going to cut them. We'll grab one of these pieces here for the pigtail. We're going to strip these wires. There we go. And then we're going to get another push-in connector here. And we're going to push this Make sure all these wires go all the way in. Make sure that when you put it in there, you don't take too much strip off, stripping off the wire. Now, there we go, we got these first two. Now, I went to push this one in here, and look, there's wire, too much wire here. So what you wanna do is, okay, that was stripped too long. You don't want any wire showing when it's inside this, right? We want it to all be inside. You don't want to have that. Now, they're all nice and tight. So we'll fold this also to the back of the box. Really good, let's put it all the way to the back. Just like this, all right? Now, we've got our hot. Here we go, so we're gonna push this in here. We're gonna do the same thing one more time. Now, obviously you can use wire nuts. Um, that's used most commonly. Uh, Push-in connectors are yeah, a bit more expensive, so not a lot of people use them. Some do, some don't. And uh, whereas a commercial receptacle, you always have to pigtail out. You want to connect all the wires and you pigtail out to receptacle. Versus a residential, you don't really do that. You usually use the device to connect the wires together. But in commercial, that is not what you do. So here we go. Again, we'll push these wires right inside. Here we go. And here, and push these in, lock them down, they're not going anywhere, fold it to the back of the box again, and you have that. There's your complete circuit, just like this, complete circuit, and cut the wires right like that, and you fold them in the box, fold them in. And again, the reason why you fold them in there, you don't want these wires to be up here. When they go to put the sheetrock in, they're gonna router around that box. And if they're up here, there's a chance they could nip them. So push them back in there, roll them. That way, if you roll it, the edges will be away from where the router might catch it. And this is a good example of a commercial receptacle outlet rough makeup. <laughs>